what is up ladies and gentlemen it's been one in four here and welcome back guys to a brand new video if you already don't know it we are playing ats american truck simulator yes it is finally out it came out february 3rd or second i don't know which one i know i was able to purchase my copy on the second but i think the official release date was the third but uh we are playing ATS multiplayer, which was I believe released yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, I'm probably wrong, but it was released. Oh, engine is coming. Okay, we're playing ATS multiplayer, and pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is a survival guide to you know, to you know your do's and don'ts of the ATS multiplayer roads. And this pretty much covers. You could probably use this guide too for. Um, single player mode is just that the difference between single player and multiplayer is, is no AI traffic and that's pretty much it. Uh, before we start, let's see where we're going to go. Oh, we haven't been to Carson City yet, so I should go to Carson City. Yeah, let's go to Carson City. Am I still on? Am I still in or did I get kicked off? I'm not still in. Wait, let me make sure. Please move. Next minute you'll be automatically kicked. Okay, good. So I'm still in the game. Uh, GPS says go left. Okay, so pretty much uh, this is what's going to be covering, you know, how you interact with others in multiplayer. I mean, in uh, ATS multiplayer. Just using your truck and everything you have on hand without chatting and all the other stuff. So... Uh, first of all, I want to say this. I am not a trucker. I don't even have a driver's license, but I have common knowledge of driving etiquette. Etiquette. Et 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 there you go. I think that's the word. Etiquette. So, this is strictly, I guess you could say, my opinion on how multiplayer should be handled the right way, I guess. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, that sounds awesome. The right way. Uh, I will be following traffic laws of all kind, and I might I might get some wrong. Or I may get some wrong. If I'm wrong, call me out of my uh, in the comments. Like I said, I don't drive. I don't even have like I said, I don't have a driver's license. I just this is my opinion. So uh, speed limit is 70. We're gonna go 70. Uh, we're gonna go 80. You know, such and such. So always keep an eye on the GPS down there. I'm gonna try not to use third person. Oh well, not third. Well, uh, outside carry exterior camera. Here we go. And uh, we'll also try to not use the trip advisor cheap GPS mount. So for those who don't know, that's this, that right there. I would try not to use that. Holy oh, crap, we're sleeping too. Uh, thank you for telling me that. Uh, but yeah, we are on our way to Carson City. And while we're doing that, we're just going to talk about the do's and don'ts. But uh, while we're doing that, I see it's pretty empty. The road's pretty empty for now. Probably going to get uh, busy once we get start getting on the highway and close to Carson City. But um, also, oh, here we go, perfect example. Uh, on any, ooh, ooh, on any roads with uh, only any two lane roads, it is in America. It is commentary. I mean, it is commentary. Comment. I think I'm saying it. I don't think it's commentary, but it's like. The rules of the road that the left lane is always the fast lane. So if your truck is faster than the guy you behind and you want to overtake, you use the left lane for that. Mm. That one was a little a little wide turn because I wasn't really wasn't paying attention. But uh, yeah, commentary. I mean, customary. There we go. Customary. It's customary in America that the left lane is used as the fast lane and the. I mean the right lanes. As you go to the, as your lanes go to the right, the faster you're supposed to go. So pretty much that that right lane there is the considered the fast lane. The left lane is the slow lane. And this is pretty much only for highways because uh, highways you always exit the highway from the farthest left. Wait, from the farthest right. Oh my God, I'm getting my left and right mixed up. You always exit the highway from your farthest right lane. So that's why the right lane is always considered the slow lane, which gives time people to merge in safely and exit safely without worrying about speeding cars and motors. Unless, you know, you always have that jackass who likes to go 50 miles in the goddamn slow lane. That's, that's just douchebag clear. I mean, douchebag drivers, though. That has nothing, that has nothing to do with everyone. That's just certain people in America. 
but uh, the, as you go to the far left, you keep going to the left, like I said, the fast lane. So the faster you're going to traffic, you should be in the left lane. Now, me personally, I go to speed limit. If it says 30, I'm going 30. Unless I'm like running late, then I'll try to push it. And I'll just keep an eye out for the speed cameras and police officers. Only in single player, because I don't... As a matter of fact, I don't see speed cameras in, in the game at all. I know they're in uh, ETS. I know they're in um, your truck too. I don't think they're... I haven't seen them yet. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, I did always look up for cop cars. And all, as soon as I see a cop car, I always check my speedometer, make sure I'm going to speed limit or not. Like right now, I'm speeding over the limit, but I'm quite sure I'm safe. I'm not going to be running any lights. But uh, we can get started here, because the first example of interaction was the what? Hotel Nevada. Margarita's live gaming penny slots. <laughs> oh, you got some college kids over there. Oh, but the first example was back there when I was making the turn. There was another trucker, and I just honked my horn, pretty much telling him, Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I know one guy when uh, in a couple like I think it was playing about three hours yesterday, and uh, one of the guys was, he, I guess he got beeped at and he was saying you know in chat why does people keep beeping at me? I didn't do anything wrong. Somebody told him you know it's they're not, they're not beeping at you because you did something wrong. They're beeping at you to say hello. It's, 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 so when you ever when it's, it's whenever you're passing another truck or seeing another truck. It, best thing to do is all we're well not the best thing but the, the good thing to do is always to honk your horn not for like a stupid long time even if it's a, a short quick even if it's a short quick one like that you don't want no that's that, that's too long that's when you've done something wrong if this is just a quick one that's just letting them know you saying hello how are you i see you. so that's the difference between a honk like that in a long stupid honk like that. that that just means you're doing something really stupid all right we left out the city speed limit is 70 all right let's kick it up here okay Ooh, taking the turn a little fast there should take it a little slow uh also four-way flashes uh i see them a lot actually which is kind of cool i'm glad they're in here uh, four-way flash is when you get to an intersection with traffic lights, and if you are approaching and it's flashing yellow, then you treat or you don't. I know you don't treat it as a four-way stop. You only treat it as a four-way stop if it's flashing red lights. Then you treat it as a four-way stop. If it's four-way yellow, I still treat it as a four-way stop. Me personally, I'll just stop, look both ways, make sure I'm in the clear, and then I proceed through. Some people, they see the, the, the yellow is normally supposed to mean, you know, a four-way caution, meaning, you know, slow down, check, you know, just slow down enough to the point where you're not speeding through at 100 miles per hour. Just slow down to like a good 15 miles, look both ways, and proceed through. But other people, they just blow through it like it ain't nothing. They just, whoo, just fly through it 45, 50 miles per hour. And one guy almost hit another guy. Uh, he was hauling a low boy tractor, low boy tractor on the, the tractor on the low boy, and he was, he slowed down, looked both ways. Well, I guess he looked both ways. I don't know, but he I know he slowed down. Then when he proceeded through, a truck almost came out of nowhere and hit him. A Kenworth actually almost came out of nowhere and hit him. Luckily, the Kenworth stopped in the in a nice nick of time, and he avoided that crash. That would have been a big fine. I mean, that would have been some big damage. I think, I don't know if there is a fine for hitting another truck. I, have, I don't know, I haven't figured it out. I haven't played yet. I mean, I haven't hit another truck yet. But, uh, that would have been a big damage report. You want 75? Okay, we'll hit 5 on this. 72, okay, that's perfect. That way, I'm focused on driving. So, yeah, that's just what happened there. But I, I think it should be treated as a four-way stop. And you mean, we're hauling tractors here, so they take a super stupid long time to stop. So I think it'll just be easier if you just slow down and not go like 800. I'm at 800 miles per hour going through a traffic zone. I'm mean going through a, a four-way flasher. Well, like I said, that's just my opinion. I have no idea. I don't, I don't drive, so I don't know. So. But there are a lot of there are a lot of people who blow through stop signs too. I don't know why they keep blowing through stop signs. 
I mean, I'm quite sure ETS2 had stop signs. Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm 100% sure they had stop signs. So I don't know what makes it different from ETS to ETS, where they gotta blow through stop signs and stuff. Especially, especially when they're exiting the highway. Oh, they blow through stop signs like it's crazy. I know, I know you're tired. I know I can hear you yelling. Oh, it looks like we got a rest stop in that. 30 miles. Okay. And here's the rest stop. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. And actually, I'm gonna to go to the third person so you guys can see the truck. There's another truck in Japan. Right there. All right, go ahead, shut it down, and go to sleep. Hmm. Two. Yeah, this it say two p.m. or a.m. Okay, it said two, but apparently it's now four thirty. Okay. I don't know what this. What's up with that? I'm quite sure it stopped at like two a.m. I mean, see at two a.m. All right, let's continue on our route. Remove, remove, F3, F3, there we go. Whoa, that guy. See, that's another thing I'm talking about you there. It's a douchebag driver. Got the, the, I don't know who was in front, but all I know is one was trying to overtake another one's turn. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on. He was just trying to overtake the guy on the, on the turn. I don't think you're supposed to do that. That's very dangerous. So, but uh, we're still, yeah, I think we're still hitting, I think we're still going to Carson City. I hope, yeah, well, I mean, I'm following the GPS. So if I'm not going to Carson City, then the GPS is broken. But hey. Oh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, four-way flashers. Shit, oh, four-way flashers are awesome. I use them a lot. I mean, it's the same thing as ETS, but now, like I said, this is my first time. Let me, let me just put this in a little bit more. This is my first time playing any type of trucking multiplayer. I played ETS multiplayer once, never played it again. Not because I didn't like it, just because I just never did. I don't know why. I just never played ETS multiplayer besides that one time. But four-way flashes and multiplayer are so much helpful, especially when your truck is either running low on gas, super, super destroyed, like 99%, well, I think at 99% damage, you can't even start it. But if it's like damage to the point where your transmission is to the point where you can only where you're stuck in gear one or gear two, four-way flashes come in handy a lot. You have no idea, especially and also you can't open your you have you can't open your map unless you your vehicle is stopped. So four-way flashes are definitely going to be awesome to use in ATS multiplayer. It's going to let the drivers in front and behind you know that you have an emergency. You're slowing down and hopefully they can be consider it and slow down with you so that way you know there isn't a big kerfluffle of trucks being crashed upon each other and yes i just used the word kerfluffle oh we took out a road sign i mean uh one of them prongs 69 can we get a 70 can we get a 69 can we get a 70 68 can we get a 70 okay we'll stick at 69 uh, just a big kerfluffle it's also good to use when you are exiting a port i mean when you're exiting from getting trucks when, once you get your trailer it's also good to use if you're gonna if you want a specific route mainly you can pull over turn your flash have your four-way flashes on and so that way you're not getting sitting there getting beat there by 20 people to go through a traffic light so well i mean actually you should just pull over well you should do both pull, use your four-way flashes and pull over to the shoulder so but uh we're hitting a cart well, what was See what else? What else? Talk about what else? We're talking about multiplayer. Multiplayer. Uh, the right of way. Uh, I love giving the right of way to people, especially if I'm not hauling anything like I am now. If I'm coming up to an intersection like this up here, and there's a truck trying to turn right, I will stop and give him the right of way because he's hauling something, and most likely he has a time limit. 
So I love getting the right away. And the way to, well, most normal people, they will flash their headlights, which is J. They will flash their headlights, which symbolize, symbolizes whoever is trying to make the turn that they they can go ahead and make the turn. You know, I'm stopping. You can go ahead and go first. Pretty much giving them the right away to turn. Make sure nobody. Giving them the, the right away to turn. Oh yeah, we were. Uh, I forgot Nevada highways are 80 miles. Perfect. Because <laughs> I believe my truck can go to 85. So that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I love giving them the right away. Like I said, right away, giving people the right away just seems much more familiar and much more like a trucker. I mean, you're you're all truckers. You all do the same thing. You just hold the whole all different stuff and work for different people. What are we entering? Carson City, booyah. Alright, we're in Carson City. Which I have just unlocked. Looks like we have another trucker up here. We're gonna try to just, kind of just drive around and see what kind of places are here. Alright, yellow light. I don't feel like waiting, so I'm gonna make the right turn. Oh, rule number one. It is definitely okay to turn right on red. Let me get that out of the way now. Uh, it is definitely okay to turn right on red. Unless there's a sign that says no turn on red. If you don't see a sign, which most likely will be on the lamp, on the lamp, on the, on the, what do you call it? The traffic pole? The place where the traffic lights are at. If you don't see a no turn on right, I mean no turn on red, you're absolutely safe. I can, uh, some, some other people, a whole bunch of other YouTubers covered this, you know, saying when is it acceptable to turn right on red. I actually just want to pull over here. We're not even right answering. Back up, so I'm getting a little bit away, away from the entrance. All right, perfect. All right, while we sit here, look at the map. Oh, okay, all right. But yeah, it is definitely okay to turn right on red. Always. All right, so we got a plaster of suns. What is that, Senko? I have no idea. They got a charge. I like plaster and suns. Ooh, there's constructive mining. I mean, coastline mining. Could go there. I never. I'm not. I don't think I hauled anything for. Have I hauled anything for coastline mining? No. I haven't. So let's go to coastal mining. I haven't hauled anything for them yet. And while we sit in here, we're just gonna. What else? What else? Well, something else. Something else. Don't tell me. Okay, it's okay to turn right on red. Communicating with other drivers, landing the right away. I think I pretty much covered everything that I think I should cover. I mean, other than that, I mean, it's just pretty much common knowledge, you know, don't wreck. Well, I mean, I can tell you to don't crash into other trucks on purpose, but then you always have them douchebag drivers who just crash into them on purpose on the fact of just being a, a troll. So, that should just be common courtesy not to crash. Uh, I actually, one thing I hope they change, well, I mean, they're probably not going to change, but one thing would be awesome that they changed and multiplayer is that the no that's not me with my reversal is it okay no that's not me I think the third one uh one thing like I said I hope one thing they do change is when you go into a construction yards and stuff uh they are all no collision zones which me personally I don't like I like to uh, I like to have this go total immersive and you know you actually have to wait for somebody to park their trailer or get their trailer or whatnot I, I just hate the no collision I just like it's just me personally I, I would love to do this all realistically okay now see I beat that him he didn't beat back oh well I mean I can understand that like I said when if I'm on the road I'm always beating it I'm beating at everyone that's driving to pretty much say hi you know being courteous just hi how are you so i would lovely i would love it if you guys can be back some people actually beep at me and i, I love it i love it when people beep at me you know it came out wrong oh so wrong so wrong but you know stuff happens but uh i don't know guys i think that's pretty much it for the day oh i forgot to show you guys the truck which is silver and blue when people come for the cowboy it's thick as you look at the Kenworth 280. 
Flip T680 mid roof. Mid roof. And uh, it is DEA meat tension. I can't wait till they uh, come out with some more truck uh, stuff, you know. You know, ATS is still in development. It's just this is a, a, a nice beta version. And at, at, a, at a, I'm not gonna, and at, it's a, it, right, when I bought it, it was 20 bucks, which in my opinion is a steal. I mean, this is gonna be one kick ass game when it finished. And I mean, it's already a kick ass game now because of the different stuff that it adds. Because of the different, you know, European, Europe, you got the European truck and an American is two solely separate trucking simulators. Just like American trucks have weight scales, which I hope BTS actually should, which I, I really love. I love the weight scales. It adds more immersiveness into the game. But I mean, ETS for 20 bucks, this is going to be one hell of a game when it finishes. So I'm saying, if you, have, if you love ETS, or unput its way. If you love any trucking sim, don't buy anything else until you buy ATS. I mean, this is worth your money. It's and it will it is worth your money. Even though it only has California, Nevada, a lot, this is worth twenty bucks. So definitely go grab it. I mean, you will not regret it. I, I hope you won't regret it. You shouldn't regret it. But definitely go do this. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Come subscribe all the good shit. You know all the links are down at the bottom. All the what do you call them? Uh, it's not with an S. Social. All the social links are down at the bottom. And thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this comes in handy in your future multiplayer, ATS multiplayer endeavors. And good trucking.